Let me show you how to make a different kind of flying thing, powered, believe it or not, by a rubber band. So, you're gonna start with two cups. We're using these styrofoam cups, they're lightweight, they seem to work well. We're gonna put the ends together and we need to hook them together. Now, one simple way to do it is to simply use a piece of tape. So the tape kind of hooks the bottoms of the cups together and just slowly kind of work your way around the cup, trying to make it as even as possible all the way around. That's it. Now, the second thing that you're gonna need are some rubber bands. I like these large rubber bands that I found at the store. I have three of these hooked together. Now we have to wrap the rubber band around the cup. So you're simply gonna take the rubber band, hold it with your thumb, and pull, not super tight, and wrap it around the cup like this. All right, looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna pull back here like this, and I'm gonna let go and flick it out. Ready, watch. Beautiful. The spin is the secret. It's actually a modified Bernoulli's principle. Here's what happens. As the cup spins like this, you have that fast moving air going over the top, which means there's less pressure. In simple terms, when there's less pressure on the top and more air pressure on the bottom, it gives this lift. And the only way that that can happen is to get a good spin on it. 